Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, today's the next talk is how to obtain 100 Facebook accounts per day through internet searches. And the speakers will be Guillermo and Yael, right? The both of them are pen testers and security researchers, and they'll be sharing the experience with you. Thank you. Over to you, Wang. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm Guillermo, and this is Yael. And we are present how to obtain 100 Facebook account search have per day uh, through internet searches. This is our disclaimer. Okay. And this is the agenda. Uh, well, in this talk, we will talk about a vulnerability we found last year within the Facebook platform, specifically the mobile Facebook application. Uh, we will talk about how we discovered it, how we reported it, and we got rewarded by it. So we'll talk uh, about the remediation Facebook uh, implemented and possible next steps to test another vulnerable uh, application. Okay, this is about us. We are members of the Lloyd's Over Security team in Mexico City, both as a penetration tester. And this is our first serious research. We love security, learn interesting things, and breaking things for fun. So we are into book bounties and participate in CTFs for hobby. First of all, uh, you listen good. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, uh, the issue uh, it was found in the instant article fun functionality back in 2016. Uh, Facebook implemented this functionality where you can view content directly within the app, within the application of Facebook, without opening the content in another browser, for instance. You can view this content, share it, and copy, and whatever. Uh, with this functionality, we found a session hijacking vulnerability, and we informed it uh, to Facebook through his book bounty program. OK, and um, how it works? We detect a vulnerability when shared links from Facebook mobile application. This vulnerability is caused to do lack of proper validation in what type pin logging. When created, URLs shortened from Facebook instant articles. You can see in this image how uh, some person uh, shared a, a, a link in, in Facebook. It was observed that, that some links are shared with a session key and API key, which allows a third party to steal a session when opening the link in a browser. Since the browser asked to initiate session as the user then initially shared the link. The proof of concept we provided was that more or less what Guillermo has already explained. Uh, the process is as follows. Uh, a legitimate user using his mobile Facebook application is searching content. He observes something that he likes, and he opens the, the camera is you find instant you article. But instead of opening it in the browser, he clicks on the options button. He can then copy uh, the link, share it, open it in the browser, and whatever. But if this user share the link uh, through any content media or any message, for instance, WhatsApp, WhatsApp this time, uh, a malicious user can open this link in another phone, for instance, or another computer, 
and the browser asks immediately to um, initiate session as the first user that initially shared the link. And uh, this ha happens because of the functionality of one tap login from Facebook. And the problem was that when a instant article creates the short link to share the media, it contains um, a valid session the, from the first user. So by clicking just in OK in the browser, the malicious user can access the, the account of the, of the first user. OK, and uh, how exploit this vulnerability in mass? Okay. It was uh, not easy to test this issue when identified the vulnerability, because it's not always present when shared a link from the Facebook mobile application. However, we already knew how these short-term links were constructed and it, its content. So if you see, this is of the structure of a vulnerability link. You can see uh, API key and session key. So um, the solution, it was uh, the internet. It was possible to replicate this issue several times with a lot of Facebook accounts on the web. First, by searching in Google, it was possible to observe that it's quite common to share links on hardened that can to be used a valid session from Facebook accounts. Um, this is an indexed search in Google. Um, you can see a lot of links, but uh, we had a problem with this. Um, um, Work fine, uh, some links pass six months, but other links uh, were too old. So, uh, we need some recent stuff, and there before we use a real time search in Twitter. When we, we use a real time uh, Twitter indexing searches, we obtain a lot of valid links around uh, 100 uh, links valid per day. The problem with these kind of links is that they not always work. They uh, have an expiration uh, issue. So we need to look for them in kind of real time through searches, this time using Twitter. But uh, not all of the links were valid to steal a session. Um, however, we found like a lot, really a lot uh, links that were actually valid. And these kind of links includes all kind of people, seen from users uh, to politicians even. Okay. And now uh, a couple of videos from this vulnerability. First. Uh, we see how to search our vulnerability links. We use uh, Twitter in order to get these links that were shared like uh, within one, two days, top. And even those links not, were not always valid. However, well, you can find them. Uh, like a lot within the application. So we used to Twitter to, to look for this kind of, of URLs. In this moment, uh, always searching in Twitter. Um, only the structure facebook.com slash out dot php. And we found a lot of of links with this structure. The first link, for instance, was not valid. He didn't open a, a one dot login session, and even without the content. But this one was indeed valid. So by clicking OK, we could have the, 
the account of this person. And the next video, uh, we see how to obtain a valid session with these links. And here is the, the proof of concept. Uh, once we, we personalize a user, we can uh, look for this kind of URL within his content media. Can be Twitter, Facebook, uh, through Google searches, and whatever. We found the, the link that has this kind of structure. This user compare, uh, share a, a uh, a link, a valid link, but in this moment uh, I delete my cache in my browser. And then uh, I open the link uh, again. We obtain a one type login and then uh, we obtain a a valid session for that user. The valid session is loaded already in the browser, so it just takes to go to Facebook, and that's it. And now we are inside the, the account of the people. Which, yeah. which mobile browser are you using? Which uh, browser Chrome. Are you using? Chrome? Yep. Yeah. Do you have any other browsers? Yep. Uh, you can test it in the computer using Firefox and Chrome. Just those two? Yep. Yes. No other, no other browsers at all whatsoever, just those two for now? Uh, uh, Safari, we, we iOS. We tested in Safari, but we didn't click in, okay? That's okay desktop, desktop collaboration mobile browsers or just mobile browsers? Dec okay. Desktop uh, works. Yeah, they work in both. Uh -huh. Let me ask you for both, right? One was a Google browser, one was a, was a desktop that you utilize. Yeah, it actually it doesn't matter what browser or the platform. Well, basically, the configuration on the, on the device can make a difference in that process of whether the Google browser or the platform. Yeah, it's exactly. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. But it's okay. It's all right. I just want to make sure I understand. Thank you. Yep. So, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I understand. So, the links will be generated when they share it, and when they share it, the shortening uh, API would be Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's correct. If I understood your demo right, how was this not discovered before? Because you were presented with the OAuth screen, right? Yep. Um, and that is that for your user that you already logged into, or is that for their user? And um, this moment is for their user, uh, a user on the web. So it was just like randomly Facebook was including the session key and clicked the link to some article and was like, oh yeah, you can log in as this person? Yeah, exactly. Some content media included in their instant articles create this kind of links. It's um, a random. Uh, even the session key is not generated in a certain way that you can brute force, for instance. It's more a problem with the API of Facebook creating these short links. Some of these content media created this with the with a valid session. So we got paid. <laughs> That's the fun part, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we report to this one. Are you able to disclose FSA Canadian? Sorry? Are you able to disclose FSA Canadian? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on $3,000. $3,000. How much time did you put into that? Sorry? How much time did you put into it? And, uh, uh, like, a uh, little. Really, a little. Two hours, hours, three days, three months, three years? One day, maybe. One day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
And this is the part of how Facebook remedied this vulnerability. Uh, Facebook didn't mitigate this vulnerability a URL shortened error. Instead, they have mitigated the vulnerability present in one tap login. A redirection in the URL with the vulnerability was implemented. Facebook.com slash out dot PHP, so that is no longer possible to steal a valid session from them. This is a, vi a video how Facebook mitigate this vulnerability. Uh, in this moment, if you search these vulnerability links, uh, you can see many of them. But if, if you open these links, a uh, redirection mitigate, uh, you pass the one-time login. But if you search in this moment uh, facebook.com slash out.php, you can find a lot of links. Yeah, because yeah, they will still generating the link the same way. Okay, the remediation was to implement the, the redirect. So when you click on it, you are uh, redirected directly to the content media instead of the one tab login. You know? Yep. So in the, in the expanded links, Facebook is still putting people's session keys in the, in the URL with the generated link. Yeah, some of them uh, has a um, special value. We will see it in the next uh, slide. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So what's next? Those are the next steps. We have found that uh, effectively this content is still shared within some values that can be hacked. Uh, this time we found this kind of URL with an SSO request uh, field. However, this kind of URL was not that easy to tell because it has an expiration time really, really short. So um, within real-time searches within Twilio, for instance, it was not the same to test it because some, like a lot of them, uh, are already expired. Uh, our solution could be a, an automatic, automi hey. automatic <laughs> tool in order to, to look for this kind of, of links in real-time and test it immediately. Uh, we have a video showing this uh, new vulnerability and how we can abuse it in order to get a valid session from a user. It's just the same way the previous day. In this first video, uh, you can see how to search these other tokens. And this kind of links are shared uh, like massively. The problem with this is when you uh, open these links, the session was expired in all, the, all of this. But we have a video with, uh, with a valid session from that link. And this is how could be exploited SSO request in my account. First, we we check if if it have a, another session from Facebook. The session was in. You can see the structure of the, the URL. It has a value hash uh, very long. When when that playing, the content media is shown, and then we just open up another tab in our browser. 
and in this moment you have a, a, a valid session. No, you just the field we have it inside are those the so request and the previous one with the app key and session key. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the problem with these links is uh, if you reply the the Hi. link, uh, the link was expired. So you try to replicate this issue uh, like immediately with the same URL. It didn't work anymore. This is the problem for this vulnerability. However, there it is. Uh, the problem here is that the API is still generating this kind of URLs with like private uh, fields with content that it shouldn't have. So even though Facebook has implemented this, this redirection, it's not the, the solution to, to the real problem. So there are still vulnerabilities out there. So, that's it. Thank you.